G'day everyone, welcome back to my Ponga Reservoir. It's been a while since I've been here and we're going back to basics. It's winter time and it's still pretty low. Not looking at any significant rain for winter. So it's going to remain low. When we go back to basics, I'm going back straight back to the uh, watermelon grub. Two and a half inch, one sixteenth ounce jig head. It's a size two hook, I believe. Um, I'm more than likely want to catch a trout. It is, we had a rain this morning, misty rain. Um, it's an overcast day, beautiful. Anyway, it might be a bit slippery because it's been raining. Whoops, that's not a good start. I'll try again. First cast. This is where the power lines cross over. And you can get a few red fin here. I'm gonna work my way to my trout spot where I caught my first rainbow. Got him. First red fin on the board. It's actually not a bad size one. <laughs> Jeez, that's all right. Nice. Put the bag down, work this area for a bit. Dong him on my head, get my trusty red bag out. That's not a bad start. Nice one. I've actually got a conventional little tape measure. I'm going to start having a look at the size of some of these. One of these. See if it's in the red or the green or the yellow. <laughs> and we have... Right, so it's 28 centimetres. It's in the green on 28 centimetres. So what do we want? We want to be in the next red. Get a 40 plus. That's just to get my odometer in. That's the red bag. Oops. A yellow orange snake just come out. That's probably not good eating that first one. I'm sure there'll be plenty more. Out there. This spot's actually not too bad for red thing. What was that? Three casks. Well, I don't have anything heavier. Only a one eighth, and that's too heavy. So I'm trying this bullet minnow. They'll get a trout if anything. Don't know how far they cast. If I don't cast any further, we'll go back to. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> oh, it gets slightly further out. I don't know what sort of action you need to put on these either. Got him. Oh, I lost him. Jeez. Don't know. <laughs> Shooting at the red fin, but it leaked out the water. Got him. Yes, that's not a bad one either. Hell. Let's be getting close to 30. There you go. 30 knocked it out once. They don't get knocked out very easily, do they? Now it's knocked out. 
that'd be close to probably 30 centimeters. Not bad. On that block, you know, at least I know that work. And I've increased the chances of a rainbow on it as well. There's a few there. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Struck too hard. Found a school. Well, they like this lure anyway. I haven't moved that much, I only moved all of about 100 metres. I quite like these areas here where it cuts in because that's where the water runs down when it rains so these are the areas you want to look for in reservoirs because the chance of a trout is higher it's quite deep there as well because the water runs in something grabbed that then Already. Another one for the bag though. Another one that has to be dispatched. All of about 25 centimetres on that bullet minnow. <laughs> They're alright to use, they've got good action to them. Let's see if there's another one there. There's one grabbed it and then I cast out there straight away. If you do that, you normally get that same fish back. So it could have been the same fish. Just see if there's a group there though. Well, I've got an unusual colour on it. It's a bright pink. It's got a bit of an orange bottom on it. We'll try that out for a little while. See what happens. Oh shit, it's slippery onto this. Oh yeah. All right, so nothing on the uh, pink slash orange so i go on to a similar one i had at the start that bullet one was a uh, black and gold this one's a black and silver similar pattern let's give that a few casts i was just on my way to the next box didn't get any hits just found another lure <coughs> Oh, someone's using big lures. Yep, another fine. It's for a uh, long cast Rapala. Looks pretty old. It's pretty heavy too. But that's another one for the collection. I collect. I collect a fair few lures that I find. And that's going to be another one. Been a while. Decent ready. Mm. Oh, geez, that's not a bad size either. I'm getting good size readies today. Look at that. On that art, Mr. Orange, but that's probably a 32 centimeter ready pin. Mind you, my odometer's been out today. Go on the head and find out. Measure it first. And it is. Oh, it's, no, it's 28 again. So I've had a few around that 28 centimetre mark. I've only got about <coughs> half an hour fishing time. 
So I've come back to the power line spot with the orange on. Sun's out now, so might be a bit more spooky. Yeah, not, not the biggest haul of fish today by any stretch. And I only ended up with four red fins so far. Two hours. Oh, well, that's the end of that. I'm going to call it a day after losing the leader and lure, I think. That's... See, that's it. <laughs> yeah, well... That's how it goes. Sometimes I run out of luck. Sort of um, had a few issues with leader earlier today. I had to drive 20 minutes to go and get some because I didn't have any in the bag, which is unusual. And I run out so quickly. 55 metres spool gone. So anyway, I will leave things there. Ended up with four redfin. In fact, they're quite decent sized ones. Really, when you look at it, usually I get those pesky small ones, but 28 centimetres was the average out of four, so that's not too bad. Um, got the daily exercise in, yeah, so I think I'll call it a day. No trout. Catch us in the next one. Hopefully we do get one. See you later.